question people they wonder about you know I've been subhanallah away from salah for many years so I missed maybe 10 years 15 years what do I do with my salah Al-Maghrib Institute presents Q&A with Sheikh Yasser Burjas so people subhanallah they live their life away from Allah Azza wa Jal for some time and then they find you know the light of guidance sometime uh, later in their lives and they come and they're wondering about the past year since they become adults and they were responsible to pray I didn't pray for five years for 10 years 15 years or maybe I've been missing you know here and there I didn't make all my ibadah my salah how can I make it up do I have to make up every single salah that I missed or not well when it comes to making up for the salah complete of course the, the salawat of the past uh, the ulama have two different opinions uh, the major one is that you are responsible to make every salah that you missed because you owe it to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that's a concern for them because you have to perform that and obviously uh, since people don't know how many years and they don't know how many uh, to count so they've been given different alternatives like they say you have to do what they call qada al-umur every time you pray salah you pray another one with it and you keep re- you're repeating that until you know the end of your life probably it's, it's very hard and difficult for people really to perform that. And some people, unfortunately, they feel this to be discouraging. So they stay away from salah because I'm doomed anyway. Why bother? But the other fiqh opinion, it's basically, no, you don't have to repeat everything that you missed. Instead, first of all, you do tawbah, which means you repent back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And when you, you repent to Allah azza wa jal, that means you have to fulfill the meaning of the tawbah. First, first, that you quit the sin that you've committed. In this case, abandoning salah. You stop, you know, skipping salah. Number two, that you uh, you uh, uh, regret that you've missed the salawat. And number three, that you determine that you never, you know, quit your salah. And do your best. If you make a mistake, you pick it up from there, inshallah, ta'ala, and fix it. But if you miss, if, 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 if you make that tawbah, inshallah, then you start resuming from there. And then after that, add more nafil salah. As much as you can. Hopefully, inshallah, the nafil salah that you add, whether it's tahajjud, when you enter the masjid, you pray to raka before you sit down to hayat al-masjid. When you make wudu, you pray to raka, inshallah, to baraka wa ta'ala. In Ramadan, you do taraweeh and so forth. So as many as you do, hopefully, inshallah, will, be, will cover you know, the, the missing part of your ibadah. In the hadith, the Prophet sallallahu said, on the day of judgment, a person will be standing before uh, Allah azza wa jal. He will be asked uh, uh, about their salah. And they look into the record. If it was complete, they pass. If not, then the answer will come, انظروا هل لعبدي من تطوع. Check if my servant left any nafil salah. And if they had any, they try to complete the missing part from, from the fourth salah. If not, unfortunately, they're going to have to, you know, deal with the consequences. But uh, again, uh, if they missed many of these salawat, hopefully, inshallah, ta'ala, by increasing their ibadah of salah, nafil salah, and also repenting to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, regretting what they've done, Allah will accept from them, and inshallah, they should be fine, bidnillahi tabaraka wa ta'ala. May Allah accept from you, Rabbil Alameen. Wallahu a'lam.